Hey guys, so again we're going to do another quick GCSE Maths Grade 9 question. So for this question, um, we're looking at geometric sequences and um, it's involving thirds. So first off you need to be okay with what a geometric sequence is. So just a quick reminder, um, do it down here. So for example, this would be a geometric sequence. 5, 10, 20, 40 and so on, right? This is a geometric sequence because between each term we are multiplying by 2. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, that's 20, 20 times 2 is 40, right? So it increases each time. And the key to noticing how you work out that, that common ratio, the, the multiplying value, is that if you do this value here, divide by this, I'll just undo that. So 10 divided by 5 gives me 2. It has to be the same here when I do 20 divided by 10. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 40 divided by 20. It's 2, right? It has to be a multiplication of 2 each time. If this, for example, here wasn't 2, then it's not geometric. So we're going to apply this now for this one here. Given that we've got square root of x minus 1, 1, and the square root of x plus 1, are the first three terms of s, find the value of x. So, like we just did here, we're going to do the same with this sequence. So what we're saying is that 1 divided by the square root of x minus 1 should be the same as the square root of x plus 1 divided by 1. So what that is is 1 divided by the square root of x minus 1 um, is it equal to the square root of x plus 1 plus 1 divided by 1. So that's just what that's the same as. Because if I put divided by 1, it's just the same anyway. So now we've got to simplify this expression here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to times through by this here, the square root of x minus 1. So if we times both sides by that, I'm just going to get 1 on this side. So 1 is equal to square root of x plus 1. So I'm going to put it in brackets because that's what this is. Plus 1 times square root of x minus 1. Now at this case, or this case here now is actually the difference of two squares, right? So let's multiply this out. What am I going to get? So it's going to be 1 is equal to square root of x times square root of x. So that's x. Square root of x minus 1. So I'm going to get minus the square root of x. And then if I did 1 times the square root of x, that's going to give me plus the square root of x. So they're going to cancel. And then 1 times minus 1 gives me minus 1. So then, adding this onto the other side, therefore x must be 2. x is equal to to 2. So technically the first term now is the square root of 2 minus 1, 1, and then the square root of 2 plus 1. So that's the first three max. And then part b, we have to show that the fifth term of s is 7 plus 5 root 2. So how do we do this? Well, think about what a geometric sequence does, right? Here, we're times in by 2 each, at each point. So I'm times in by 5 by 2, 10 by 2, 20 by 2, and so on. I'd do 40 by 2 next. And we're going to do the same here, but with this, this, now this is the ratio. So the ratio here is actually this. It's going to be the square root of x plus 1 divided by 1. So that's my common ratio now. So, um, how do we do the multiplication? Well, it's going to be, it's actually going to be triple brackets, right? Because if you start with the third term, so this is the third term, we're going to do this times by this again and then times by it again once more um, to give me that that fifth term in the sequence so what it is going to be it's going to be square root of 2 so we can we can use x and replace it at the end um, but I'm just going to put the 2 in for now plus 1 and then I times it by this again so that'd be the square root of 2 plus 1 so that'd be my fourth term but if I wanted my fifth term we just times it by it again. It's going to be times the square root of 2 plus 1. So, you've got to be comfortable expanding triple brackets. So remember, deal with two of the brackets first, and then expand by the final bracket. So, square root of 2 times square root of 2, that gives me 2. Square root of 2 times 1, so I'm going to get just square root of 2. 1 times square root of 2, so I'm going to get square root of 2 again. And then finally, 1 times 1, hopefully you're okay with that. That's going to give us 1, right? So simplify that, and this is all times by the square root of 2 plus 1. So if we simplify that, what do we get? We're going to get 2 plus 1, so that's 3. Root 2 plus root 2, so that's like x plus x, we've got 2x. So in this case, it'd be 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2. And we're timesing this all by this, so it's going to be double brackets again. 
and using foil or claw method, whichever you prefer. Uh, I know it's even sort of smiley face sometimes, but whichever you're comfortable with, it's just the same method. So I'm going to multiply these two brackets out again. So three times root two, that's going to be three root two. So now I'm going to do the outside, so it's going to be three times one plus three. And now I'm going to do the inside. So this kind of looks trickier than it is. Two root two times two. How do we do this? Oops, that should be square root of two times the square root of two. How do we actually do this? Well, deal with the square root. So, so the square root of two times the square root of two, that's just going to be two, and then deal with the multiplication. So two times two gives me four, so that's going to be plus four. This is probably the trickiest bit where people get caught out here, so just be careful for that. So I'm going to get plus four. And then finally, we're doing the last two. So two root two times one gives me plus two root two. And then if we simplify that, what do we get? So three plus four is seven. Well, we're halfway there. We've got the seven. And then finally, three root two plus two root two gives me five root two plus five root two. And there we go. We've done it. We've got seven plus five root two, job done. So that's part B done, and then part A done there.